That's murder, young lady. Allow me to adopt your child. Please, please. 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 The escorts are basically going to be out there as long as there's a need for them. I think we're sort of living in an age where a lot of people are looking for something they can do. And this was something that felt like it was right to do. Nobody likes bullies. And something that's so personal as a medical decision, if somebody's trying to scare you physically by standing outside of a doctor's office away from that medical decision, that's not cool. We try to speak the truth to them. We pray that when they lay their head on their pillow at night, they're going to realize exactly what they've been a party to. What we do is we hold space for people. We basically just hold space for them to empower themselves and make their own decisions. And then when you go to sleep tonight, I want you to think about those arms and legs. I want you to think about the hard rental part. I want you to think about whether there are baby boys being killed today or baby girls. I think it's really important for our role as clinic escorts is to be that that safety for them, or at least that smiling face that tells them you're going to be okay. <laughs> We're out there with the protesters for an hour and a half on a given morning, and 20 minutes of that is actually escorting clients in. So for a good hour of it, it's just protesters directing everything at the escorts themselves. They call the clinic concentration camp, death camp. They call us death sports. It's kind of their nice nickname for us. And you guys out here are no different than those who stood outside the crematorium in Auschwitz. He wants the Jews be es escorted in. They will target us personally. They, they know my name. There's always a fear that one day you're going to wake up outside of your house and they're going to be standing on your sidewalk. I think any day that you can help whoever needs to get to the clinic, get into the clinic, it's a good day.